they say it's the best cheeseburger the ve and you have to try the Velveeta cheeseburger specifically Velveeta's not even cheese I know but that's what they say so I'm doing what the critics say to do because they've all, people have obviously tried the whole menu you know what I mean and people request something in particular like where we're going yeah, they they're said, bad critics yeah but this is general population of consensus so like where we're going the restaurant they say there's a lot of good things on the menu but don't let that sway you you have to try their fried chicken like so if you're only going to eat at a place once you have to get what they're known for you have to. You have to. <laughs> well, you don't have to. I'm getting it. You can get whatever you want.
so we just finished eating at Magnolia 23 and the reviews are correct that was amazing fried chicken very good the breading was so flavorful so we are very happy that we found this place as a matter of fact there was another place I wanted to eat at and um, it's like a motorcycle place that is like two stories and they said there's a diner inside with really good food but they're closed on Sunday like everything in North Carolina <laughs> It seems like Sunday would be the one day you would want to be open because that's when nobody works. And I know a lot of people like to get out of church and go eat. So, and families are together. So, um, I would think Sunday would be the day to be open. Um, but a lot of places aren't. And we, and it worked out for the best. We are so happy that the other place was closed because we would have never got to try this. We met with the owner. Um, he adds such a personal touch to the restaurant that makes it so much more special because that place is thriving. There's a long line, but they get you seated within 10 minutes. But they're so busy that the owner does not need to be there was my point. Um, and that just adds such a nice personal touch. Yep. And Met he would and greeted everyone. Yes. He stopped at everyone's table to say hi and how you doing, where you from, and all that. Yes, he actually spoke to every single person who walked through the doors. Yep. Very good food. Very, it's very quaint, small restaurant. Um, they do have an outdoor area. Oh, that's right. He said he wanted to show us. Um, they have an outdoor area when the weather is nicer that you can eat outside as well. His name is Dawn. And now we are going to a place that I've been wanting to go to since I moved to North Carolina. It is a covered bridge. So that's where we're going. This one is called the Pigsaw. Pigsaw? Pisgah. Pisgah Covered Bridge. Whee! Whee! The train tracks. Mm -hmm. No train. Thank God. And it is right outside of Asheboro, which is why we ate lunch in Asheboro. But I will say, I do like... Would it stop doing that? No. But I do sure like... Sure, say the same thing about you. But I do like the Asheboro Zoo because all the animals are in, in like hundreds of acres like they have so much room to roam and run and be free they're not in little tiny areas or cages you know what i mean like some zoos they're in very small areas this it is so spread out some some of the features like you're lucky if you even see an animal because it's so vast but so i like the north carolina zoo i don't feel sad when i go there Pittsburgh. Nope. <laughs> we are here at the Pisgah Bridge in Asheboro, North Carolina. Yep. And this bridge has been around since 1911. They had cars stop driving in it 
in, in the 1950s when they built this bridge over there. And so they kept the bridge here for historic reasons. They did renovations in 1998-99. I think this is, I forgot what river this is. Oh, the Pisgah River. Nope, West Fork Little River. West Fork Little River? Mm -hmm. Hence the sign. <laughs> they have picnic tables, so if you want to eat, and they have little steps that go down to the river if you want to get into the river. And then they have like a, a little bridge over there that leads into the woods so you can go hiking. But here is the bridge nice little piece of history 1911 and we're going to walk through it now <laughs> we are <laughs> so here we go here we go now unfortunately people have vandalized it so there is a bunch of graffiti, yeah. which is a shame, but what can you do? So here's the steps that go down into the little river. Oh, this is actually better shot of the bridge. Oh yeah. Look at this cute little path. You have it like marked off. I like that. got like little islands that you can go to. Like it's really cool. Time flies, get this butterfly in my palms and in my eyes. Echoes from the other a unique bridge. Yeah. Bonus. I burned off that fried chicken. <laughs> it's a short trail. Probably like a eighth of a mile. But this is nice. It's a nice little peaceful area. 